Hi, in this video, I would like to show you one way of handling uh, variables um, that are specific to whatever stage you're deploying to. And um, we're going to start by looking at this package JSON file. And you'll see that I've added in some various deploy as well as the create calls an option that's called set env from json and then i pass it a json file that contains the variables that i want it to um, be aware of so let's switch over to that environmental json file and you can see here i'm just using this as an example of how you might do this so let's say that I'm calling out to a third party um, API and I need a token to make those calls. And the token might be different depending on whether I'm testing it or whether it's in production or there might also be a token just for dev. So you can see here, I have a very simple JSON file and I defined the token variable. And then in front of each one, I put a, um, a a prefix of the stage that I'm referring to. So I have dev underscore prod underscore test underscore. And those map roughly to the stages that I'm calling here. So if you look at when I deploy to dev, I create a version called dev. And same when I deploy to prod. And when I perform a test, I also call out to a version. So what you do here is you simply use those labels or aliases and in your json file here that becomes the prefix to whatever the environment variable is that you're referring to so once that is set up um, automatically these values will be associated with whatever stage environment you're working in uh, the other thing i'd like to do is show you how those are referred to in your Lambda code. So you actually want to get those values at some point. The first thing to be aware of is um, when you create the API here, it's important that you include this merge vars to true. This is kind of the magical thing that's going to um, allow AWS to refer to the specific uh, deployment variables that you're referring to. Without this, it's not going to work. So make sure that you have this included in your um, when you create the API builder. So jumping down a couple of lines, you're going to see how you actually refer to these um, specific variables. So in this endpoint, I include the request object, and now I can refer to the request objects uh, environmental variables. And then after that, I simply refer to the token that is defined right here. So you see that. So this is in the hello endpoint. So let's take a look and just confirm that uh, looking back at these three different versions of token that they're actually linked for each one. So first let's take a look at prod just by doing a curl call. And so this is the beginning of your AWS function, and then I have slash the endpoint, which is hello. Um, so you run that, and you see that this token that it's spitting back uh, maps to the prod token. And let's do the same for the dev version. You can see that one is dev. And one more time, let's just take a look at what the test value is. And you can see that we also have tests. So all three of these um, are being saved on AWS. Um, finally, I just want to show you what that looks like in the AWS console. Uh, you don't necessarily need to see that or to, to work with these variables because they all get defined command line uh, using the tools that we have available here. But just so you can see what this would look like if you had console access. So these are the environmental variables. These are the things that we just populated with the um, prefix to the staging environment that we're concerned with. And the last thing I'll mention is that these values are automatically encrypted um, on the AWS side of things. So you don't have to worry about that.
Um, and then the other thing I'll just draw your attention to is in the readme file, I have kind of more, uh, kind of the same detail of what we just went over, but you can see here um, more information about how to set up these uh, values in a environmental JSON file. Uh -huh.